Hi, this is Juliette Kuhn, Instructional Technology Facilitator at Brooks Museums Magnet in Raleigh. Today I would like to tell you about a fraction scavenger hunt that we did with Google Forms and QR codes. This was when I was at Dillard Drive Elementary and Brooks at the same time. As part of the fraction scavenger hunt, I first worked with fourth grade math teachers designing a series of questions that reviewed the fraction work that they had been doing with students. We decided to create forms using our Google Apps accounts and using the form in Google. First, the de teachers designed a series of questions that got progressively more difficult with e each QR code. You can see that they put the name of their members into their group. They created QR codes that students scanned and then the form pulled up for each one. Here's what the form looked like in the design section. So we had members put names in and then the teachers pulled in graphics to the form and they had questions, open-ended questions that student would, students would answer. Each form had three questions. The first two required a, an open-ended question that students had to give a numerical question or a numerical answer. Then when they got down to the third one, we created the question in a way that it was an if-then. So if they answered a certain way, they would go to page five, which meant they got the answer incorrect, and it would redirect them back to a remediation question closer to the classroom. If they got it correct, they would go on to the response telling them the next QR code that they would be visiting. So you can see this is the response on page five. Oops, you made a mistake. Go back to the fourth grade hallway. And then if they got it correct, they were then on the quest to go find question number three. And the QR codes were marked with the question number. Students were put into groups of three, sometimes four, pretty much three for the most part, and they followed a trail of QR codes throughout the school. So you can see the student is using their iPad and a QR code reader to pull up their form. When they pulled up their form, they then answered those questions, and depending on the answer of their third question, it would direct them either back to their classroom for remediation or on to the next question. In their collaborative group, students had a white wipe-off board and marker. They discussed the possibilities, they worked it out on the board, and there were teachers throughout the scavenger hunt giving some input when, or to answer questions when students needed them. The last stop directed students to the media center where they then worked in collaborative groups to create their own scavenger hunt question. They were then taken to QR code creator where they created their own QR code to take back to class. I hope this activity gives you some ideas on ways to use iPads, QR code creators, and Google Forms to make learning exciting for students.